Hi everyone. Today, our research is going to focus on Yangtze River floods in 1998 during the summer time. Yangtze River, as known as Changjiang, the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world, it flows for 6,300 kilometers from the glaciers on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau in Qinghai, eastward across southwest. Central and Eastern China before emptying into the East China Sea at Shanghai, the Yangtze River basin includes many lakes and tributaries such as Boyang Lake, Dongting Lake, Chang River, and Xin River. Many populated area and big cities such as Wuhan, Chongqing, Nanjing, and Shanghai are located along the Yangtze River basin. Around 450 million people live here. Although the Yangtze River is called the cradle of Chinese civilization, floods occur frequently around the river basin throughout the history. In 1998, a raging flood tore through the river basin and swallowed farmland and homes. There are several drivers that caused the flood from the river. The first major cause of the floods, based on our research, is the monsoon climate in southeastern China. The East Asian monsoon is a monsoonal flow that carries moist air from Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean to East Asia. It is driven by temperature differences between the Asian continent and the Pacific Ocean. One of its characteristics of the monsoon climate is the intense precipitation during summer time. Too much rainfall concentrated within few days causes the dry. In water level of mid lower Yangtze River, eventually the river level exceeded the river bank. Thus, floods frequently occur in middle lower Yangtze Plain area. The second major cause of the floods will be climate anomaly. According to Chinese oceanographers, they believe that China in 1998 suffered catastrophic floods due to the combination of El Nino and La Nina. Chinese oceanographers and meteorologists noted that in the tropical Pacific, the El Nino had been transferred into a La Nina within a few months in 1997. The never having situation is one of the cause of the Yangtze River basin rainfall surge. In general, A wide range of warm air caused by El Nino after moving to a higher latitudes in the northern hemisphere suffered the northern cold air air exchange, the formation of an increase in rainfall. But after June, the arrival of summer, the rain belt northward, the Yangtze River basin flood season should be end. However, then La Nina appeared, cold air sinking south. A move northward flow of warm, moist on the return to fill the vacuum. In fact, the subtropical high in July 10 has reached 30 degrees north latitude and suddenly retreated south of 18 degrees north latitude. And the history of this phenomenon has never been seen before. Human activities is another driving force of flood under the pressure of growth in population. Vegetation has to be removed to grow more crops in order to feed more people. Due to overcultivation and excessive deforestation, vegetation and soil structures were destroyed in the upper reaches of Yangtze River. Therefore, the water capacity reduced and lake shrink. Water more often exceeds river's maximum capacity. Flood occurs. There are three steps of the disaster. The first step was from 12 second June to 27th June. The water level of Fu River, Chang River, and Xin River rose beyond the historic record due to the long-term and heavy precipitation. Boyang Lake Valley floods occurred. The floods occurred in Dongting Lake Valley as well. Flooding of two lake valley areas feeds into Yangtze River. Start from 24th June, Yangtze River hit flood. Alarm levels. The second step was from 28th June to 20th July. Heavy precipitation occurred in upper basin of Yangtze River, and the water level reached the historic record. The floods of Boyang Lake and Dongting Lake retreated. 
In addition, the third step was from 21st July to 31st July. Heavy precipitation occurred in the middle ranges of Yangtze River. Stormy precipitation hit Wuhan and surrounding area. Daunting lake valley floods increased. Meanwhile, floods occurred in Xin River and Le'an River of Boyang Lake. The water level of Yangtze River rose back. Thus, in August, the level of Yangtze River remained high. In 16th August, the largest flood peak appeared in Yichang City, and the rate of flow per second is 63,600 meter cube. The 1998 flood in China led to huge consequences. The four provinces are hit the worst in China are Jiangxi, Hunan, Hubei, and Zhejiang, and 29 provinces suffered different degrees of flood. With the affected area around 0.3 billion hectares, 0.2 billion hectares of inundated area, and the affected population are 0.2 billion people. The total death of 1998 flood in China is around 3,000 people. Additionally, 68.5 thousand houses collapsed. The direct economic losses was 20 billion U.S. dollars. In order to minimize the cost of flood, the government should increase the ability of future prediction. For example, after 1998, the meteorological services in Yangtze River were starting to issue forecasts for the whole basin. Moreover, ecological restoration should also be a crucial to prevent disaster. Planting more trees could increase water conservation capacity and decrease soil erosion. Chinese government already claimed the project named Green for Green, which is returning agricultural land to vegetation land and returning green plots to lakes will also enhance lake and river capacities. After a disaster actually happened, government should take their responsibilities to take immediately for the rescue. The first few hours are crucial and called the golden hours. The immediate actions should be taken include basic food supply and water and so on. In fact, government has taken some actions. For example, the Street Gorges project. The project can significantly reduce the magnitude of flood control discharge of the river and lower the water level. It prevents the rise in river beyond the river bank at the middle and lower reaches of Yangtze River. The Three Gorges project has significant impacts on resisting the flood. In fact, after storage of water in the Three Gorges Dam, that has experienced more than twice of the single peak over the peak of 1998 flood. Before the completion of Three Gorges project, flood would definitely occur in Jin River every summer. Nowadays, the Three Gorges project makes Jin River a larger storage capacity, which can help greatly in reducing the downstream traffic of flood. Floods have never happened in Jin River so far since the completion of the Three Gorges project. For example, in July 19, 2010, the Three Gorges Reservoir had water inflow 69,000 cubic meters per second, which exceeded flood peak in 1998, but it was safe in downstream areas, and all of these are contributed by the Three Gorges project. Moreover, after experiencing a flood, actors can learn a lot from the disaster. Scientific research institutions, government, and real estate developers should figure out a new structure and material of buildings around the potential risk area to increase the level of flood tolerance to a higher level. However, it is impossible to completely control the hazard. We should learn to adopt the environment first and reduce the impacts to the environment as far as possible. Then, Yangtze River can better support our civilization instead of the destruction.